Hi there. This is a short tutorial on how to create a microarray figure uh, using uh, the UCSC genome browser. You could use this in case you have a patient who has a microarray abnormality that you'd like to generate a figure for them. First go to genome.ucsc.edu. From this page you want to click on in the upper left hand corner genomes. Uh, that will bring you to a page where uh, you will then input the information regarding your patient's microarray abnormality. That goes under the position or search term tab. However, it's important that you make sure you know the appropriate assembly for your patient's abnormality. Um, the assembly is the genome build. Uh, you will find that newer microarrays are using the February 2009 assembly. Some of the older microarrays are using the March 2006 assembly. So make sure you look at the microarray report in order to determine the appropriate assembly for your patient. You can then type in the position or search term as shown here. Um, and you will note that um, then on the right hand side is you will click on the submit button. After that it will bring you to the page um, where uh, the information that you input regarding the search terms will show up. However, if you go to the chromosome uh, picture, you can see that there is um, a red box um, that uh, is corresponding to the microarray abnormality that you put in for your patient. And below that are then the genes that are then affected on the abnormality. If you scroll down, you'll see that there um, are three main tracks that I s recommend being open. Base position, uh, chromosome band, and uh, RefSeq genes. You can see that base position should be dense, chromosome band pack, and RefSeq genes pack. Anything else that um, is open should be hidden, as uh, this uh, example is. And then go over to the right hand side and click refresh. Once you have these three things open and you click refresh, um, your page should then look like this. Um, you want to get then an image of the gene box which is the white box. So then if you um, right hand click in the upper left corner, uh, you will then have um, a couple of options that you can choose. And you want to choose the view image option. When you choose view image, uh, it will bring you just to that image itself. Um, and so then you will want to right click again in that upper left hand corner and select copy image. Once you select copy image, you can then open up whatever type of uh, picture or program you like to work with. I usually just use PowerPoint. So then I create a blank slide and then I um, right click in the slide and I paste the image. You may find that the image is too large for the slide, in which case you may need to crop it and scale it down in order to make it fit appropriately. Uh, and then what I do is I then go back to the UCSC genome browser and where the chromosome picture is, I right click again on that left side um, and um, again I copy the image and I go back to PowerPoint and I paste the image in the PowerPoint slide. And again you probably will need to scale this down. Um, I then like to create um, a couple of arrows just to show that you are zooming in on that area. After that I'd like to make a text box by going up to insert and then text box and then with the open text box typing in this information. This includes the patient's name, their date of birth, a general description of the microarray abnormality, as well as then a more detailed description of the uh, microarray coordinates. Uh, this allows me to then print this picture out and share it with the patient uh, and hopefully it will um, give them some more details regarding what the microarray abnormality actually showed.